Hello, welcome to the latest episode of Tips and Tricks here with Apps Events and Acer, where I show you how to get the most out of using Chromebooks and G Suite at your school. We're going to use the Acer Chromebook 15 to do some work on a couple of spreadsheets. Now, all schools have a lot of data, but people haven't always been shown how to get the most out of it in a spreadsheet. And that is where the explore function in Google Sheets comes in. So let's dive in and take a look. So I've got a spreadsheet of data here and I'm just gonna click down here on the explore button. This is typical school data and you can see that explore suggests a pivot table and also it gives me a number of charts here. Now I'm gonna go and grab and drag into the spreadsheet this count of year group chart because that's gonna help me in a little while. But I actually need to do some deeper analysis. I need to find out the average behavior points that I'm putting on the sheet here, the average behavior points for year eight, and also the average behavior point for year eight students who are also in Oak House. Now I could try and write the formulas, but instead I'm just scrolling back to the top of the explore pane here and I'm going to type in these queries as questions. And you can see I type in the question, it gives me the answer, and if I click C formula, I can actually drag in the formula that was written to come up with those answers. So let's try one more here, something a bit more difficult. This time we're going to look for average behavior points for year seven with more than 100 conduct points. So again, I just go to the top of the explore pane, type that in, there's my answer, 10.6 and I can click C formula to drag in the formula. Now I've got a report document here in Google Docs and to view these side by side on my Acer Chromebook 15, I'm gonna click and drag the tab to the left and right of the screen like this. And now I can really clearly see both of the documents together and this is one of the benefits of having such a big screen on a Chromebook. Now this chart, I'm selecting it here and copying it by using the keyboard shortcut Control C and I'm gonna head over to the document on the right hand side here and paste it using Control V. Now when I paste the chart into Docs, I get this option here if I want to link it to the spreadsheet, which I do, so I just click Paste. And I can even do the same when I highlight areas of data from the sheet and paste those into the document as well. Now just to see what happens, I'm going to update the data in the sheet here and make more students in year seven. And when I click on the chart the next time, I get this update button. So I choose update, and now the chart in the doc updates with the latest data from the sheet. And the same thing happens with the table of data on the document as well. So there you have it. Now you'll never have to worry about writing a formula again. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you again soon.